Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to spawn any item in Baldur's Gate 3. So this is going to be using a mod to do this. We're going to be able to go ahead and spawn any item in the game, including multiple copies of the same item. For example, spears, helms, gloves, etc. All of these are going to be available to use. And this does not require cheat engines. So the cheat engine tables often go out of date after a while and you won't be able to use them with latest versions of patches. But this method is going to be available to work on any version of Baldur's Gate 3 using the mod. So today I'm going to show you how to do that, install the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager and get the ability to spawn any item in the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is to download the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. So I'm going to leave a link to this GitHub page in the description. We're going to go to releases section here and then we're going to scroll down until we find BG3 mod manager latest. Let's go ahead and download this. What I'm going to do is put this onto my desktop just to make this a little bit easier to manage. And what we're going to do is to right click on this and extract all and we'll extract the zip file into its own folder so we can see it properly. Next, we're going to double click on BG3 Mod Manager, and then we have the Mod Manager listed here. So we're ready to install any mods onto Baldur's Gate 3. Next, we're going to download an actual mod. So we're going to be using Spawn Any Items, and I'm going to be teaching you how to use this today. So what we need to do is to go to the Nexus Mods, where all of the Baldur's Gate 3 mods are located, and then we're going to go to Files, and then we need to download both of these files here, the Pack and the User Items file here. So what we're going to do is to click Manual Download, and we need to be logged in in order to get this to work. So you can create a free account if you don't have one already. Just go ahead and create an account here. And then once you're logged in, then go ahead and press slow download here. That's going to download this mod for us. This will start in a few seconds. And we also need to download this spawn any user items file here. We're going to click manual download here and then use the free download here as well. So once we have the spawn any items pack and also spawn any user items ready, we're going to extract both of these as well. So just right click and extract and then right click and extract on this raw file as well. So that's all ready to go. So we can delete these original zip files and we just have the three folders here, spawn any items pack, spawn any user items and the mod manager. So basically we're going to open up mod manager, double click, and this is now going to load up. The so first thing I recommend doing is to go into the tool section and then download and extract the script extender. This is going to help make mods a little bit easier to use. And once that's installed, we're going to go ahead and install the pack file. So go to file and then import mod. And then we're going to go to our desktop and then go to the pack file, spawn any items pack, and then install this one, spawn any items dot pack, press open. And then this is going to be listed in our inactive mods folder. So we're going to drag and drop this into our active mod folder, press file, save order, and then file, export order to game. So that means that the load order has been put into the Baldur's Gate 3 user folder here, and it's going to load up when we play the game. Next up, we need to install the actual user item list folder. So we're going to press go, press go, and then open game folder. And this is automatically going to find our Baldur's Gate 3 actual game file install. So this can be in any location normally within your Steam apps folder. And basically we have another item here called spawn any user items. And this needs to go into the data folder. So I'm just gonna put these side by side. So within Baldur's Gate 3, we need to go up from this bin folder and we need to go into the data folder. And then here we need to drag and drop the public folder into the data folder. So just do that. So once that's copied over, we're ready to customize this. So double click on public. So within the folder here, we've now pasted it. We're gonna go in and change some of the settings here. So we have the spell spawn items.txt, which we're gonna open up. And what we're gonna do is to make edits to spell spawn item one, two, three, four, and five. So you can't affect this one. So don't edit this one. We wanna make changes here. So these have codes in here, which basically correspond to UIDs or item ID numbers. And we're gonna delete this and we're gonna enter our own ID numbers. So you can use this handy PDF, and this basically contains a list of every single item in the game. Uh, it's not that useful because these have the kind of in-game names. Basically, if you wanna find any UUID, you can go to the Baldur's Gate 3 wiki, BG3 wiki, and you can basically type in the name of any item. And if you scroll down, you can click on UUID and basically copy this code here, press copy. And then what we wanna do is to basically replace this spell item spawn item one and then put the code within these brackets. So that's going to allow us to spawn item one using that code. And basically you can apply this to every single item in the game. And once we're ready, we can go ahead and close this and then we can launch the game using this export order to game button. And you can press this button here to launch the game. So if this doesn't launch for you, it doesn't matter. Just go to Baldur's Gate 3, whether it's through Steam or GOG and press the launch button. So this is gonna open up the Larian launcher. I'm gonna press play here. So launch the game now and we're gonna load up one of our save games. Just press continue. 
So now we've loaded into the game, we have this dash spawn any item button here, and this basically replaces dash. So you can click on this and cast this, and then we have this new button here, spawn any item. So make sure to click on this quickly because this only applies as long as dash is available. So we'll click dash, spawn the item, click on the spawn item here, spawn item one, click on the floor, and then my Nairula has been spawned on the ground. So this is my legendary spear. We can see that this has been listed here now. So this is spawned correctly. And we can also do this with any other item too. So spawn, press this, press number two, and spawn item number two. And then we've got this scale mail plus one. So that's because I didn't replace any of the UIDs on items text, but uh, basically we can replace this with any other item. So what you wanna do is to basically spawn all the items that you want. Uh, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna spawn another night ruler. So basically what you wanna do is to spawn dash any item and then you wanna go ahead and probably uninstall this afterwards because you won't be able to dash properly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So in order to uninstall the mod, we're gonna quit the game here and we're gonna reload our Bolt Skate 3 mod manager. And what I wanna do is to basically put this into inactive mods, press file save, and then file export order to game. And then basically when we relaunch Baldur's Gate 3, it's not gonna have that mod anymore. So I'm gonna relaunch. So I'm gonna try and go ahead and reload my game without the mod. It's saying here that these mods are now disabled, though they were enabled before. This might be unstable, but we're gonna load up anyway. It's gonna be fine. So once the game has loaded without the mod, our dash ability is back and we're free to play the game as normal. And uh, make sure that we have these Baldur's Gate 3 script extended version working because if you don't, then it's gonna have that error message where the game doesn't load correctly, where the game was gonna basically try to reset your playtime, etc. That's all gonna work correctly. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.